everybody, we just got a big update for Moonstone Island. So I'm here again to show you the 40 new things in this game. Some QOL and fixes are not included in this video though, so you still might want to read the patch notes or something. We'll only be discussing the majorish updates. But anyways, let's go. Number 1. If you ended up stealing most of an island's resources, well great news, cause we can now plant trees, put rocks, and even grass. It just costs a lot of stamina if you use the alchemist wand on the tree sapling though, but this can be bought from Ophelia and Guyana. And if you ever use those decorative trees from the decoration table, then they're actually updated so that we don't get confused on which trees are real or something. See, it has a plant box now. Number 2. The Dark Spirit Spectral Hand Card costs zero energy now. Just think how overpowered that would be on a pop box. Number 3. You know how I taught you how to steal chests from dungeons? If you already stole all of them, then this sucks for you. Because now, stealing boss chests lets it stay super fancy instead of turning into normal looking chests. This is what it looks like. Number 4. They also added more customizable stuff in the settings, particularly the reduced flicker for those that hate anything flashy, and time can also be adjusted too. So no more falling asleep while in mid-air. Or no more passing out in general. Number 5. We can now further expand our greenhouse too. It's available at Ophelia's, and it costs 250 wood, 250 stone, and 10,000 gold. This is what it looks like after the renovation. It adds 8 more tree by tree farming tiles and 2 areas for the plants that grows in water. Number 6. Paolo is selling more furnitures now. He used to only sell a couple of stuffs from the decoration table, so if you're lazy to craft, you can just wait for it to be available at Paolo's shop. Number 7. Spirits that were found in mines can now hatch from eggs. Honestly though, it's still easier to tame them from the wild than to wait forever to get them from eggs. Oh, and when we release spirits, they will start appearing in the wild now, so we get a chance to retain them in case we regret releasing them in the first place. Number 8. We can now close mines. Thank god because my character could finally stop falling into them. Number 9. We can also move stacks in a single click now. No more long press or dragging. Number 10. Higher level earth, water, and poison spirits will now appear as the islands has been rearranged and some earth, water, and poison islands are available at the edge of the map. Number 11. I can finally ditch my other saves and go back to my first one because skills can now be reset using a skill reset potion. This is the update that I have been looking forward to the most. Thank you, devs! Number 12. Three new spirits are also added to the game. These are cat skits, a dark spirit with a raised dead passive. It just steals 10 HP for every spirit that you banish in combat. Another one is Bonefire, a fire spirit with a combustion engine passive. This one gives energy for each spirit that you banish through burn. And lastly, my newest favorite, Woomer. 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 Anyways, it's an earth spirit with a lawnmower passive. I really like this one because farming fiber will be much easier with the spirit. Look, it cuts down all the grass. Number 13. We also have new furniture. Some of these are free and can be crafted through the decoration table, while others are only available on DLC. This is what they look like. Number 14. Studio Supersoft is also currently hosting two Halloween events, one of which is a Halloween hunt where we can increase our chances to get holo spirits. We can increase them from 0.2% up to 10%. We can get the boost by picking up 3 limited time holo hunter potions which will be available from October 30 up to November 1. Another event would be the Haikuin, a Pullman Haiku competition. For anyone interested, you can find more information about this at the official Discord server or the Moonstone Islands Twitter page which you can see in the descriptions. And that's about it! Which one did you like the most? Let me know in the comments! Don't forget to boop that like and subscribe for more Moonstone Island videos coming your way. Bye bye!